right. Oh, amigos. Oh, amigos. We are going to death. Um, Rockstar Dusty Hill. I will tell you what Dusty means to me. And information about my dad's school all combined into one. Oh, yeah. So, I'm currently awarding the loss of a rock legend by... I, I keep on getting them both confused. There's Billy Gibbons and then there's Dusty Hill. Dusty Hill is the one that we just lost. We just lost the legend. Uh, big legend, actually. Especially with all you people playing ZZ Top in the 80s. Yeah, so anyways, I figured I'd spend a little bit talking about my favorite ZZ Top performances, about all that, and all that. In my opinion, the band's first really good song came out was surprisingly, in my opinion, never released as a single, but I am a fan of the song. The song is called Winning for the Bus. Yeah, that. And then the next, like, you know, really good songs they have had both came from their album Fandango, which are home to Heard It on the X. Mmm. And. Tush. Oh, and their amazing uh, cover of uh, Elvis's Jailhouse Rock. We go on into the 80s. They start the show off with a DVD recording, which will later be released. And sweat out the DVDs and the double down then and now. The concert where they played a ton of their earliest hits, including Hurting on the X. Waiting for the bus and tons of other out stuff. And then we get to this classic album, which is very, very common in most collectors' houses. I actually, in fact, have the deluxe edition of this album. It's called Illuminator. I do not have it on vinyl, but. I think it's gonna get a price up or now because of Dusty being gone forever. Yeah. So the next thing we get to or the next thing that I wanna talk about is the stuff is the live stuff that they did in the 2000s, especially on live from Texas. <laughs> like, you know, their, their version of likes is everything on that. Like, you know, they got the spinning guitars, they got, they got the, they got everything on that concert film. They got one of the two singers listing off 
items that you can get on a Mexican menu. You get, you get, you get spinning guitars, and I forget what else you get. Yeah, so anyways, Rastin Power Legend, who is now known as Mr. Rest in Peace Dusty Ho. Yeah, so going on, this is about my school day. My school day. Yeah, so, anyways, I got on the van very early at like 8.35 this morning thinking that the other person was going to be there, but we spent 20 minutes waiting, and then the mother's like, oh, hey, we're going to be driving her in today? Yeah, so we just went along. We, I found my class playing, uh, Kahoot. Yep, and then we all decided to do one by, with everyone playing, but then we did one about solar systems, and then we are like, uh, that doesn't work. And now, I decided, now somebody said the word music, so I was like, oh, are we gonna do a music category? Yeah, and like, last time with Paul McCartney, I had a nickname perfectly fit for this game. And if you don't know who my favorite celebrity, who my new celebrity crush is, it is this 27-year-old man right here, Justin Bieber. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a Justin Bieber fan now. Especially, uh, the stuff from, uh, 2015 to 16, like, with songs like, What Do You Mean? And, is it too late? I'm so sorry. And I let you know. Is it too late to say sorry to purpose? Anyways, purpose. That's the name of the album I'm referencing. And that, oh, and speaking of time, it is 7.37 on Thursday, July 29th. Yeah, so I get dressed, get ready to go to hail reservation for the day. Yep. Yeah, so anyways, this is, anyways, this is, I got my changed. I, I, we have a Time with Legos episode, and which, and in which, remember Speedy from the other video? That guy is officially a person now. Dawn, Dawn, Dawn! This guy, by the name of Sam Rosen, me and him, if you didn't see yesterday's video, me and him were yelling the word speedy at Adrian while he was flying an airplane. Yeah, so... We are like, oh hey, uh, Mr. Speedy should become an actual race car driver now. Yeah, so we get all that sorted. We, yeah, so we do all that. We reveal... We, a match is met, 
between Mr. Speedy and Miss Speedy to see who will face off against Lightning McQueen in the final of the the greatest race car driver ever championship. And guys, can I tell you the results? Miss Speedy didn't even get through half a mile. Mr. Speedy got through two and a half miles. Yeah, so on to the finals. I decided that this will be a 10 minute match instead of five minutes because it was the finals. And then a half minute later, Lightning McQueen pulls over, gets hurt, and falls off the, the, uh, falls out of her race car. So that leaves Mr. Speedy to become the champion. Yeah, so, anyways, we get to hell. We all get down where we talk about, yeah, we, I sit on the docks like last time. Yeah. So, yes. We, this is not even the meat of the day yet, and we're 11 minutes in. Maybe it's because of my tribute to uh, Dusty. <laughs> yeah. So, next we get to Hail Reservation. We all get up on the dock. Yeah. And then, J.J. Krabber, whose literal name is Mr. G. Yeah. Is told that she has the voice of an angel. Yep. And then... I told her to proceed to America's Got Talent, the pretend show, and then I was pretending to hit the golden buzzer for her. Yeah, so not much else happened during our swim, but I'll tell you what other big event happened. Me and Sam and Noreen and Mr. Perkins all go rowboating, but before we get to that, me and Mr. Perkins got a very special Uber from somebody by the name of, I for, oh, Veronica, I think that's her name, I think Veronica is her name, yeah. So anyways, it was Veronica that was nice enough to drive us down, get us, help us do this thing called get on a boat, and get on a boat we did, and yeah, and we did that, yeah, we, we did that, we, I got on the boat with Sam and Noreen and Mr. Perkins, and right off the bat, I notice Noreen, and I tell her that she looks a lot like Oprah Winfrey. Yeah. I verify that I will be friends with Sam even after we graduate from high school. Yeah, so the next thing we get to, we get to this thing which we all call talking and having a carpool karaoke in the boat.
Alex completed a segment which I call Boat Pool Karaoke. Oh, and I did my have my sandals on for this boat ride. Yeah. The other guys were driving canoes and then they were like, oh yeah, you you guys are too young to even do this. Yeah. So next the next thing we get is this thing called Talking About Wrestlers. We talk about John Cena, we talk about Conor McGregor and how he hurt his ankle. We talked about uh, Hulk Hogan, we talked about Butterbean. I think Butterbean might be boxing though. Yeah, but anyways, he's a pretty nice interesting fella to hang out with. That's what I have to say about Sam. Yeah, so, continuing on, me and Sam, like, we're best friends, head off to lunch together, and this is kind of a boat-driven reunion, because, guess who was sitting next to, or not next to Sam, but the person that was next to Sam actually got to sit across from Mr. Perkins. Yeah, so anyways, we get down to business. We have the lunch. We have, we got changed. We wait for the bus driver to come. And here we are, that's our day. Once again, I'll give you a preview of what comes up for the week ahead. We have on on uh, Monday we have our final academic day. On Tuesday we have our second to last day at Hale Reservation and on Wednesday we get to an earlier part, an earlier sunrise, an earlier day at school so we could go to Castle Island! Yeah, so anyways, it's really nice to see, yeah, it's really nice to meet every single one of my summer school colleagues. So, next up, we get to this day called the last day of summer school, and that's the pretty much the video.